Hi everybody and welcome to the section creating properties. Well, this is quite simple. Um, what I want to do now is I just want to add my properties to the property inspect system. So I click on properties over here. Now we do have the ability to import all of your um, properties in a number of ways, either through an integration or most common is through a CSV upload. What you would do is just request the CSV template from us um, which you would then fill in and we would import your properties into the system. The other way is to add them manually. You can see I've got some properties. I have did, did this via an import, so all my properties are sitting over here and I can simply search by the address. So 109 I'm looking for and there's my property 109. So this is how you would find your a property that you are looking for. Do take note of the filters on the left hand side when you're searching for a property and when you're searching for an inspection just to make sure that nothing is ticked here restricting um, the ability to find the property when you're searching by the address over here. Okay so let's just have a quick look let's add a new property click on add a new property and you would simply go number 12 West Street um, and that is in a suburb of uh, Milmerton and the city of Cape Town where I am based and I'm going to put in a postal code. Now first line of the address city and zip or postal code are your default or, or requirements so you need to fill those in everything else is optional. Um, one thing you'll notice here is client. Now generally rental agents um, or realtors wouldn't really use it. They'll be using the inspection system for themselves. If you're an inspection company, you may have various clients who are using you to perform inspections on their behalf. And what you can do then is create a client, which we'll cover a little bit later, and assign the property to your client. So I've got no client set up at the moment, but they would all be sitting there and I can assign this property to my client, ABC Rentals, for example. If there's any reference, related to this property I can fill it in here and then just the property details from the type the furnishing bedrooms and bathrooms etc etc and what you'll notice if I'm doing commercial for example um, or any kind of other uh, inspect, uh, property type it gives me different options that I can fill in over here the other thing I can do uh, let's just make this a apartment and it's got uh, one bedroom and one bathroom you can see here, I now have the option to add some property notes. Now, these notes would relate to the property. So they could be, for example, access um, instructions. They could be parking instructions, etc., etc. Et now, the good thing about adding property notes here is when the inspector is performing the inspection, they will be able to see in the app on the cover page the property and the inspection notes. So I'm going to add an inspection note um, parking bay uh, 104 uh, and now I know every time my inspector or I do an inspection on this property there'll be a note saying it's parking bay 104. So there we go and basically that's it. I just create the property and now I have my property profile in the system all inspections relating to that property would be performed on this uh, property. What we don't want to do is create new properties every time we do an inspection. We are always going to search for the existing property. So there we go. Number 12, I can search. And there you can see there's the property that we've just added. If I click on the property, uh, this is a new one that we've just added. But I just wanted to show you all my inspections are going to be listed under the inspections tab over here and I can filter on the left hand side but all of my inspections are going to be sitting over here in date order and if there's anything I want to upload to the property for example it might be a lease agreement it might be a safety certificate it could be absolutely anything you can click on uploads and upload it to the property as well. Okay, so I think that's it in terms of adding a property. Uh, next up, we're going to have a look at creating an inspection.